Hello, I'm JJ Panzer, president of The Real Management Company in San Francisco. I'm here to tell you about rent board pass-through petitions. Have you made an improvement to your rental property in the past five years? If so, the rent board has a way for you to get reimbursed by increasing your tenant's rents to pay you back for the large expenses that you've incurred. What kinds of improvements have you made? Maybe you've painted the outside of your building, replaced your roof, or you've done a seismic retrofit. All of these projects can result in capital improvement petitions that increase your tenant's rents to help pay you back for the cost of completing these jobs. You can recoup between 50 and 100% of your investment going up to five years back in your records. Why is this a big deal for you? It's a great way to increase your return on investment every month by increasing rents in a legal way to pay yourself back for these big expenses. How long does it take? Typically, it takes between eight and 12 weeks to review your paperwork, prepare the petition, and submit it to the rent board for certification. It might take the rent board an additional six to 12 months to acknowledge your petition, schedule a formal hearing, and certify your petition. We offer a variety of petition services, but today we're going to focus on the two most common petitions, capital improvement petitions and operating and maintenance expense petitions. Let's talk a little bit about the do-it-yourself rent board pass-through petition process for a capital improvement at your property. Begin by gathering all of your paperwork. This includes your proposals, copies of canceled checks, including the front and back, and a full detailed rent roll. Next, download all the rent board's forms, compile and complete them carefully, and prepare and serve all the rent increase notices to your tenants. Let's talk about an example. Mrs. Smith is a rental property owner who owns a 10 unit building. She's going to replace the roof. Because her building is over five units, she can pass through 50% of the cost of the work. She gets two bids. The first bid is $55,000, and the second bid is $50,000. As a responsible property owner who doesn't want to overspend on her project, she's going to pick the lower bid. She signs the contract and delivers a check for the deposit to the contractor to begin the work. She gets a copy of the front and back of the check from her online banking to prove that the job got started and that the money was paid. Then, when the project is done, she inspects the job, pays the balance, and obtains a copy of that canceled check for the balance. Let's talk numbers. Mrs. Smith downloads the rent board's forms from their website and fills in all the information about the tenants and all the information about the work that was done to the property. In this circumstance, she is allowed to pass half of the project cost, $25,000, through to the tenants in her building. Properties with five units or fewer get to pass through 100% of their expenses. She uses cash, so she gets to apply an imputed interest rate to the allowable portion of the project's costs. In this example, the project is $25,000 and the imputed interest rate number is 0 .00947. She multiplies that factor by 120 months to arrive at the total allowable petition amount of $28,410. Let's talk a little bit about how to calculate each tenant's allowable rent increase. First, Divide the allowable cost by the number of units benefited by the work. Because all of her units benefited from the work, she can pass through $2,804.10 per tenant over the 10-year petition duration. She can pass through $284.10 per unit per year, or $23.68 per unit per month as a rent increase to her tenants in the building. There are a few tenant exceptions provided by the rent ordinance. Let's talk about them. First, in buildings with six or more units, the landlord is only allowed to impose an increase of up to 10% of the tenant's base rent in any given year. If the allowable rent increase is more than 10%, you can only impose a maximum of 10% increase in year one. You may impose the remaining amount up to an additional 10% of the tenant's base rent in year two. For buildings with five or fewer units, Landlords are allowed to impose a maximum increase of 5% of the tenant's base monthly rent, though these buildings are allowed to pass through 100% of the cost of capital improvement projects. Before proceeding down the DIY route, there are a few things to keep in mind. This process will probably take a total of 6 to 12 months, if not longer, depending on how long the rent board takes to review your paperwork. In order to complete this process successfully, you must be highly organized and motivated. 
There's no guarantee that your petition will be accepted, even if you think you have filled out all the paperwork properly and provided all of the necessary documentation. This process can be very confusing and stressful. Instead of facing the process yourself, you can let RMC handle your rent board pass-through petitions for you. There are several benefits of choosing RMC. Primarily, we'll deal with all the headaches for you, so you don't have to do it. We have extensive experience in working with the Rent Board over the past 35 years of managing rent controlled properties here in San Francisco. We know exactly how to work with the Rent Board to get your petition certified. We have a great track record of success with the Rent Board and have developed an excellent working relationship with the staff there. Also remember, RMC doesn't have to be your property manager to complete the petitions for you. Here's how to get started. We'll be happy to review your paperwork and give you a written initial evaluation report and a projection of how much your rent increases would be for a successfully completed petition. This will help you decide if the rent increases that you're likely to receive are worth the time, energy, and cost of processing the petition. This evaluation report will include a letter grade, A through F, explaining how good your paperwork will be when we prepare your petition. If you don't get an A+, We'll give you a list of suggestions to improve the likelihood that your petition will be accepted. We'll also tell you exactly how much your rent increases should be so you can make an informed decision about whether it makes sense to proceed with the petition or not. Then, if you decide you'd like us to prepare your petition, we'll discuss the next steps with you. Let's talk about RMC's Turnkey Rent Board Pass-Through Service. RMC's Turnkey Rent Board Pass-Through Service will take you through from the very beginning to the very end of the process guaranteeing you a successful conclusion. We'll start with the initial evaluation and projection of rent increases. We'll also prepare the petition for you and we will prepare all rent increases, serve them to your tenants, discuss the process with the tenants as needed to ensure a smooth conclusion, and represent you at the rent board's hearing with the administrative law judge to answer any questions about your project and the petition. RMC's turnkey rent board pass-through service is priced as follows. We start with a $500 petition evaluation and projection that we discussed earlier. We charge a petition preparation fee of $1,500 for capital improvements of less than $150,000 in value, $2,500 for a petition of more than $150,000 in value, and $3,000 for an operating and maintenance expense petition. Then, if you'd like us to go through the entire process, including rent increases and representing you at the rent board, we charge 30% of the first year's revenue that you'll get from your successfully completed petition. One of the best things about RMC's turnkey rent board pass-through service is that we offer a 100% money-back guarantee if we can't deliver an approved pass-through for you after two attempts. Let's calculate the ROI of RMC's turnkey service for Mrs. Smith. The total RMC fees for Mrs. Smith for acquiring $28,410 is $2,852.30. This works out to roughly 10% of the overall value of the petition. Now, you have a choice, DIY or RMC. Either way, we're here to help.